Morning. Morning. Sorry, I'm just finding my place in the notebook. It is still morning as well, isn't it? It is. We're getting this out of the way. Out of the way this week. Because I don't want to be sat in front of that bloody computer all day. Really, I've got other things to not do. <laughs> really. No, it's been... Look, it's been quite busy this week. But I haven't... Yeah. I've not been in the mood. I've really not been in the mood, but I've had to really, really, really... Really? ...force myself to do work. Well, you've done a lot, though. You've done an awful lot this week. Well, I haven't done an awful lot, Paul. Well, you. Really? Well, it looks as though you have. I've cleared the grapevine. Yeah, yeah. Um, Which hasn't been <clears throat> properly cleared for about four years, five years. Yeah, yeah, it's been neglected, so it had to be cut down. Cut down. Cut down. Completely, literally, completely. Um, because the um, arbor. Doodah, no, it's not an arbor. It's not a pergola. An arbor, it's a pergola pool. Pergola. The pergola, la pergoli, or something. Pergola is rotten. Rotting. It's rotten. Well, it, yeah, it is. It's sagging in one place yeah. where the wood is, is rotten. I mean, you don't, don't like saggy wood. They don't no. last for years. They don't last forever. They don't. Um, Plus, it's rather large. Mm. And actually, I don't think we do need a pergola that size. Well, when we moved here, it was that really, really hot summer of 2003. Uh, it was like, it was a, a, what do you call it, Indian summer, wasn't it? And we used it quite a lot because it gave a, a good deal of shade. We didn't use it. It's just there. Well, we had a table underneath No, it. we didn't. We've we did. We never had a table we underneath We did. It. No, we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, we didn't. We, we had a did. table. Ne we didn't. In fact, we didn't have a table. No, we didn't. We had a tiny table. Yeah, we did, and that was there. Honestly, I'm going to get the photos out <laughs> because you were talking through your. We arsehole. had. We had. We sat there and we had wine and things with thingy and doodah. No, and we didn't. Thing. It's not. It's not big enough to sit underneath, Paul. Stop now. And they were those IKEA fold up chairs that we had. Yeah? No, I don't remember any of that. <laughs> well, just because oh, you don't remember it doesn't mean it didn't happen. I blocked it out. Yeah, I think you have. Yeah. Anyway, move on now. Move Paul. on, move forward. Yes. Shush. So it's gone. If I can splice well, it. Hasn't. In well, it has. It's virtually cut down to the ground now. Oh, you mean the grapevine? Yeah. I thought you meant the pergola. I'm thinking an arbour in its place. A small arbour. Ones that boats can come to. No, an arbour, Paul. Not a harbour. An arbour, which is like an archway. A Made small, of wood. A small archway that we can just about crawl underneath. Why would we do that? I was just imagining a small arbour that was tiny, you know, a fairy arbour. Well, that <laughs> would be apt. Yeah. An arbour just to support the grapevine when it grows back. Right. To also provide a sort of entrance to the garden entrance from... Entrance to le jardin. Yeah, all right. Wasn't funny. But... I don't. I don't know why we need an arbor to support the grapevine. The grapevine's got to grow up something, otherwise it's not going to grow. It's just going to be a, a massive bush. Can't it grow up the fence when we put the fence in? No, I'd rather not because it destroyed the previous fence, Paul. Well, Vines yeah. destroy yeah. fences. Yeah, they we do, know they. this. Yeah. They grow in between and. Prize them open. Yeah. They do. They ruin them. So we need to train it. So I think an arbour, plus an arbour's a lot bloody cheaper than a pergola. I've looked at the prices of pergolas. They're ridiculous, Paul. Couldn't we reuse the arbour from the allotment? No, that's not, that's not an arbour. That's a small pergola. No, it's the wrong... 
it's the wrong shape, it's too small. There's nowhere for it to go right. in that shape. An arbour would fit across the little cobbles. Yeah, anyway, let's move on. As I said before, if I, I may have spliced in a piece of video to show you before and after. Have you got Thank rid you. of the other shrub yet? No. no. Uh, that's going, I'm cutting that to the ground. Killing it. So that area is going to be more open. Yes, it is. I feel this. You feel it? I feel this. Right. Marvellous. Well, it will be, but it's a right bloody mess. So I've been doing that. The season is changing rapidly. <sighs> mm. Isn't it? Well, it seems to be flip-flopping a little bit, really. Well, it's cold. It's, it's cold. cold. But apparently, it's going to get warm. We've got a large warm front coming in. Yes. Suddenly, it's going to be 23 degrees centigrade. On Tuesday. Apparently. So that's lovely. Something to look forward to. Have to open the polytunnel in the Super morning. It'll get too duper. hot. And, of course, today, for you watching this... It's Saturday for us, but Sunday is the day our clocks change. Time travel. We and travel in time. Our clocks go forward. It's spring forward to spring, fall back to fall. Why do we call it? We, I don't think we, we say that, really. Well, Because it, fall is an American term. Yes, but it's a way of remembering, Paul, because people seem to forget. I don't know why. I don't know why. Look at that lovely shadow. Oh, that is lovely. The trees. That is the lovely. Yeah. You can't see it. No, that's not a tree. That's a shrub. Whatever. That's our beauty berry. And um, that's a reflection of the light <laughs> from the other side of the room. No. Not room. No. Road. Road. <laughs> so the sun is over there. And it's shining onto the houses opposite and reflecting back yes, into our house. Yes, that's what I meant. But that's I just what you meant. You didn't straight. say it. Yes, yes. Anyway, so um, back to that, the seasons, the clock change. Now, I thought I would do a little bit of research into why the bloody hell we have the clock change. Because a lot of people don't find it very helpful, Paul. No, they don't. No, they don't. I don't, I don't, well, I, yeah. Well, let me tell you why and how it came about. I wish they just sort of stick to it. Again, it this is yet another thing to blame the American people for. Is it? Yes. I thought it was the Scots. No. Nope. And children. No. No, it's definitely, it's, no. I thought it was Scottish farmers, no. so that Scottish farmers could get into the fields in the... Daytime in no, the light more. Oh, I'm sure out of here. No, it's not. And children. It's nothing it was, to do with it them. It was because children um, were going to school in the dark or something, nope. and it made it more light early in the morning so that children didn't get run over. Nope. It was first proposed by Benjamin Franklin. <sighs> yeah, he's got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Yeah. And. That was 19... Benny to his friends. I think. What year was it? 1847. Oh, it doesn't say. Um, <laughs> You've done your research. Well, it was very light research. Paul. Did you go to a library and look at all the books, or did you do a Google? I did a Google, of course. <laughs> Who would go to a library these days? God. Full of COVID, I mean, you know. Can you go to the British Library online? Sure, I, if you can. No, oh. I bet you can. <gasps> that might be exciting, mightn't it? So Benjamin Franklin, um, he thought that if people got up earlier, it would save on energy. Like candles. Oh, I see. Yes. And then, then, in the UK, in 1907... William Wilberforce Willett Willett who was who who was the great great grandfather of Chris Martin from Coldplay we got a lot to answer for yeah he wrote a, a leaflet called did the he? waste of daylight 
Did he write a leaflet or did he write the copy for a leaflet? He wrote a leaflet. I don't know how they did it in those days. He wrote a leaflet called The Waste of Daylight. And in that, it proposed the changing of the clocks forwards and backwards. And then, in 1916, it was introduced. But it was also used in World War I as well. And they had something called double, British oh, double, double summer, summer time. time. Yeah. Yes. So it was to uh, do, the proposals were all to do with saving energy. Right. Now, that was what it was about. You see, that sort of makes sense. But... People have sort of said, well, it doesn't really save energy and blah, blah, blah. And there's been arguments for and against it for many, many years. Yes. So I think go. it was still of course it makes, farmers. Well, it makes it darker in the winter. Yeah. So the problem is that people are suddenly plunged into darkness during the commute. So it actually causes a higher level of accidents, apparently. School children and accidents. But it's not because of that. That's no, not the root not, reason not, why it was not the done. Root so let's move on now after that small I think that's absolutely list. fascinating. I do too. So it's an American thing, really? Yes, it was. Sorry. Yes, it was American. But I don't know about you, but... Calling crisps I mean, chips. We've, we've I said mean, this really, before. We've said honestly. this. Paul, just oh, stop. True. Just stop now. We've said this before, but this time of year, I mean, it throws a lot of people off. It throws me off because it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter in the mornings. So I find my sleep seems to be disturbed. Yeah, we go it's, through a sort of period. It's of like throwing that. my pattern off. It was very bright this morning. I got up about quarter past six and it was really sunny yes. and bright. Yeah. So... Quarter past six will be quarter past seven. Mm. Yeah. We lose an hour. We lose an hour. But we gain an hour at night. Well, we gain a light. We gain light at night. That's what we gain. Do you think the plants know about it? But of course, when it gets to into summer, in the morning it makes no no difference really because it's lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter I mean it starts going light at three yeah do you remember when we went to Guernsey one day and we were driving down to Weymouth in the car yeah and it was dawn about three yeah, yeah. it was it was there was a fantastic dawn through the because we were traveling west and there was a dawn sort of through the back window yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Fascinating. Let's move on because this is not a long one today. It's not a euphemism. Like I said earlier, there's things that I'm not going to be doing today. <laughs> you want the choice to be able to do, do or not do I do today. today. I, I want the choice of being able to just float, float through the day like a floating, floating thing. thing. <laughs> so Paul oh, what have we watched on television this week I've just realised I didn't flip the screen out so I have no idea whether it's still recording oh oh shoot a... we're going to stop there and we'll be shoot. back with you in a minute shoot. well we're not necessarily oh my cushion oh it's Paul. cushion disaster oh it is it is recording are you going to flip it I'm flipping he's flipping Oh, I can see screen. me. I can that's see lovely. me. Look. See, that's what. Isn't it funny that, that neither of us notice? That's what happens when you're sort of rushing to get things done and you don't pay attention to details, Paul. No, no. So, yes, what have we watched on television? It's been a bumper week for TV this week. Of course, Saturday is RuPaul's Drag Race US. Huh? It is, yes. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Who got voted off? Last week. Tina Burner. Tina Burner. Tinta Burnta. Why, why is Tina Burner called Tina Burner? Is that T Burner? Tina Turner. Oh. 
No, she wasn't our favourite, um, no. Tina Burner, but she's gone. I'm not... Leaving. I'm, I'm not hugely enamoured. I'm even finding it difficult to remember their names, actually. So, we've got left, we've got Utica Queen. Utica, Can- yeah. Candy Muse. Who got sashayed away but was brought back immediately. Well, it was a double shanté. Double shanté. It was a double yeah. shanté. Well, was it really? Oh, no, it a wasn't a no, double shanté. It, it was a... It was a... a no, it Candy, was... I'm not ready for you to go. No, she said, shanté, you stay. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Candy, she so, said, good, she said, she said goodbye. So let's get the term correct. It was a retracted sachet. Sachet away. It was a retracted sachet. So she sachet and was just oh, going cool. out. They get the picture. And then RuPaul said, Candy, stop. I'm not ready for yeah, you to okay. go. We've or something that. like that. And Candy went, oh. You're stuck in a loop oh. now, Paul. Got Mick. Got Mick, yeah. Rose. Rose. Oh, yeah, Rose, who's yeah, Scottish. Who, uh, well, she's, Scottish. She's American. Scottish ancestry. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. God Scottish. Knows, Paul. God knows. Just. Who else? Oh, drink more coffee, Paul, because that actually might calm you down. That coffee looks a strange colour. It's got a little sort of cloud. Yours has got a little cloud as well. Um, got Mick, Rosé, Rosé, and she did a wonderful job last week on that outfit, that red outfit. Yes, didn't she? yes. That was yeah. very good. I'm surprised she didn't win. Candy, actually. Candy Muse. And Simone. Simone and Olivia Lux are left. Oh yeah, Olivia Lux. Yeah. I think Olivia is quietly shady. Yeah, but she's not, I mean, she's good, but she's... She's not my favourite. She's not up there. Oh. Well, don't put your elbows in the way if you don't want spillage. So anyway, that's that. We're looking forward. It Who's going to win? Um, Simone. Uh, Simone. I do like Simone. Simone needs to win, actually. I do like Simone. I don't use need a lot, but Simone is the best. And she, I, I do yeah. like Rosé. Rose. She's a bit of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. She's Simone, a bit shady. I, yeah. But Simone, she's just got this natural comedy Boys realness. And elegance but as I'm, well. Yeah, but, well, she has, but, yeah. Anyway. You're scratching your head. Anyway, I was thinking. Oh. So we also started a film. A film? Called A Little Stranger. I think it was on ITV about three or four weeks ago. So you'd record it on, on the TV... On, on Delhi. On, on TV. Delhi. On TV. Um, we turned it off. Yeah. It was far too harrowing. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. It was, wasn't yeah. it? In the first ten minutes. It was too... too. I, I mean, I don't know how it, it's going to pan out. I'd actually quite like to know how it ends. Well, you how, can read it. How it develops. But I'd just read the synopsis rather than watch the harrowing scenes. But it had... What's her name, isn't it? in it didn't Duda it? from Binoche Juliet Binoche was it no no who was it no Mrs Coulter from My Duda La La oh that's right yeah from Duda La La My, uh, His Dark Materials yeah yeah anyway so that was good you're continuing with Arrow yes my yes. name is Oliver Queen you have failed the city you have failed the city um and I've been watching it too. You've watched a couple of but episodes. But it's moved on since I was watching it. I think... Well, I started watching season three, episode one. And... Because his mum's now dead. Don't and, tell the viewers. I think lots of things. Oh. And he, and Thea has gone to live somewhere yeah, else. Blah, blah, blah. with her dad. And, details. And then details. suddenly, there was another guy called The Flash yes. in it. Well, it's part of the Marvel thing, isn't it? <laughs> no, but it, it was as if... Is it? If it, it or was is it as DC? If Auntie had just come to say. It was it was bizarre. I have to say, I'm getting a little bit... Um, I, I feel a little bit overwhelmed by all of these superheroes in general. Don't you find that everything is a yeah. bloody superhero yeah, now? Yeah, it is. They're pulling superheroes out of the closet. 
Well, I wish they would. Actually. I think no, there are. There are. Um, yeah, there but are. they're just oh, everywhere. And is it a reflection of our times? No, is I it, think it's a reflection it, of how to make money. Yeah, but do you know what I mean? That this sort of obsession that people have got with superheroes now, more so than ever, is it a reflection of the sort of desire in people's fantasies to have a superhero save within them, them? Save them. Or within them. <laughs> Maybe. Um... Do you know what I'm saying, though? I mean, everybody would love Wonder Woman to walk down the street and do a twirl and save everybody from the evil, whatever. Do you know what I mean? What evil? Well, the evil, the general evil. Oh, right. You know, the evil muggers, the evil robbers, the evil murderers. Everybody would love Wonder Woman to do that. I think... Or Batman or I to think... fly down... From a place in the sky, wherever he comes from. I don't know Batman very well. I never liked those films. His parents were shot in an alleyway. Were they? Well, yeah. there you go. There yeah. you go. That's why Batman wanted to make himself into Batman. Vengeance. And he wanted to avenge the death of his parents. Who's the other one with him? Robin. Robin. I was going to call him Robert then, but I couldn't quite remember. I don't know where Robin appears from. But anyway, blah, blah, blah. And do, do, do. There's lots of them. Uh, I don't really, I, I'm not really into superheroes that much. I do like Wonder Woman. I do. We but I like the original the, yeah, Wonder Woman. Yeah. Linda Lovely. Linda, Linda Lovelace. Not Linda Lovelace. No, she no. was a very different Wonder Woman. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Linda Carter. Linda Carter. I was going right. to say Linda Evans then, but that's yeah. Dynasty or Dynasty, yeah. as you call it, over on the other place. Incorrectly, yeah. Um, anyway, what were we saying? Who are we? You Why are we? You were waffling on about superheroes. So that's good. Unforgotten <gasps> procedural crime drama. Whoa, whoa! It's an interesting Do show. That again. Whoa! I like that. Uh, it's an interesting show, Unforgotten, because. Interesting? Yes, because of her. Nicola right. Walker, is it? Yeah. She's an incredibly good actress. But the character of that, whoever she is. Her, her character. Name? What's her name in it? Um, Carrie, Casey... Cassie. Cassie. Cassie, Cassie. Cassie. Some, Cass. Somewhere Cass. in between, yeah. That character, she's not really very likeable, is she? No. Really. Unlike Vera, mm -hmm. who you kind of warm to, don't you? And, and all her, her faults and her lifestyle, which is, you know, lonely woman spinster. Well, she's not lonely. Well, she is. She, when she sits down in that chair with a glass of whiskey on her own and looks sadly at the camera, she looks a bit lonely to me. Are we still recording? Yes. Do we ever hear about her mum? Anyway, I go back to Cassie in Unforgotten. She's not terribly likeable and she's quite, it's quite a flat character because she's super professional isn't she? But she's totally likeable. You totally you get do, her. You do like her. She's kind of this ordinary person. Ordinary. Doing an extraordinary job. I mean, the police do an extraordinary job. Yeah, they do. They do. You know. I loved it when she was questioning the detective superintendent corporal don't thingy. tell the story paul and she's sort of you know going so this is what we know yeah she's very procedural yeah. she sticks to the pot she's not they don't do good cop bad cop no you know, there's that. no good cop, it's bad all cop, very no. procedural yeah. blah 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 this is what we're going to do whether that's anything like real life i do not know because i've never worked in the police i did want to be a policeman though I had lunch at the Earl's Court Police Centre thing one day. Is that what you're calling it? Lunch, Paul? <laughs> it was you mean lunch. you were thrown in a cell? <laughs> <laughs> you went for lunch, uh, didn't you? Uh, yes, yeah. that's what we all say. I've had I, lunch at Her Majesty's I can honestly say well. I've never had 
a criminal record. Never. I've never been caught for anything. <laughs> Notice he doesn't say he's never done anything wrong. He says he's never been caught for anything. No, I, I, I am a law-abiding citizen. Thank you very much, Paul. We've known a few crims over the years. Oh, we? gosh, yes. I do like a good crim. They're very interesting people. I was in the company once. I was a director. And yes, the three other you people can't say that. Prison. You can't say Why that. Why not? That was true. You can't say that. Oh, can't I say that? No. Though? Right. Don't say that. People no. get the wrong impression of you, Paul. Yeah. They were all completely... Innocent. So that's all lovely. We've also been continuing with The Place in the Sun. Yes. Yeah, and we've had... What's her name? Happy Face. Oh, I do like Jasmine. Jasmine. Jasmine's my favourite. Laura's a bit... Too smiley. Which is Laura? The very oh, yeah, smiley the very, one. Yeah, the smiley one. And yeah. then there's the other one who... Then there's the funny hair one with the pudding bowl haircut, even when it's not pandemic. What? That's laughing all the time. Him. Oh, him. I don't like him. No. Johnny. Mm -mm, I don't mind him. Um, I always thought he was oh, about, like, five remember. foot six. But he's the... about six foot four or something. No, he's not. I thought he was. <laughs> Oh, he's no, he's not. not no. He's somewhere in between five foot six and six foot I four. I think he's just an ordinary size. Right. Um, stop jiggling. He's got his colourful socks on today, look. Ow, my hip's going to break. Oh, God, I don't want to end up in A&E today, thank no, you. No, no. Um, no pet. Please, no Paul, pet. please calm down now. You're just driving me insane today. There could be a murder, love. <laughs> and as in Unforgotten, remember? Oh, yeah. An ink pen's a very good weapon. Ink pen. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's move on. Veep. We've but continued the, the, with the, Veep. The, 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 what you call it, the end, the finale of that episode was pretty... Oh, oh Unforgotten. Oh, Unfo yeah. oh, whoa. Yeah. Is it the final episode or I Monday? don't hope, bloody not. Well, no, I do hope it is, because I want the conclusion. Anyway, move on now. We've done Place in the Sun and Veep as well. We've continued with... with the, the, Veep. The, 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 the Veep. Veep. I do. It. I, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, we love Veep. Season I was three. I going to say Veep, but that's hair removal. Have you seen those comments on Amazon for yeah, the shush, hair removal? Shush, yeah. Yes, I have. I fell asleep last night because I was quite tired. I did, yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing the end of that episode. As am I, because I didn't watch it because he fell asleep. And I think that's it for TV. Word of the week time. I think Veep, there were a couple of episodes where they're dealing with press and there was one where she was being interviewed wasn't she and they were trying to get all the Ooh, sort you're of putting too much sugar in this Paul snide comments Ooh, in Ooh. not snide comments you know all the secret things and oh, I nice found that though. one quite painful really lovely good I know people like that good new don't now good new. Yeah. so yeah V what, what else have we watched we've watched something else haven't we no, that's it. No, no, that is it. Yeah. That's it. All you done. have failed the city. Yeah, all right. That's not Veep. No, I know. But it could They're be used. It could be now. used in that. So, uh, word of the week. What were? Word of the bloody week. You ready? You might know this one. What? Brother. What? What? Oh, shut up. What? So, word of the week is abnegation. Oh, no. Abnegation. A B N E G A T I O N. Abnegation. Is it when you give up something? You give up something. I need to find out what that something is. When you say goodbye to something? Oh, I'm sort of going along the lines of abdication with abnegation, mm -hmm. if you see what I mean. Mm -hmm. So that's where my thought process is going with this. 
Um, sort of. Um, sort of. And it's, is it when you give in to something? Is it giving? No. no. Abnegation. Abnegation. Oh, I'm not going to get there. Is it... Is it when you accept that something you thought was wrong is actually right? No. Mm. It's the act of rejecting or renouncing something. Oh, is that it? Mm. That's all it is, oh. Paul. Oh. Yeah. I abnegate that fact. So, what's it been like for you this week, Paul? Oh, what's it's been... it been like? Tell me. Tell me what's... Tell me, love. Have you murdered somebody, love? <laughs> Tell me, Paul. What's it been like? It's, it's been, been a strange a... week for me. <laughs> I love that. You ask me how my week has been and then immediately bring it back to you. It's been a strange week for me. How's it been for you and why? Tell well, the viewers. for those who don't know, we said goodbye to our car on Monday. Did we not talk about that? No. Oh, no, we didn't, Paul. No. Hmm. We did on Planet Vegetarian oh, and I yes. did on A Week at the Plot. But no, we haven't. And on coffee, we, we did mention that. But On our podcast. On our podcast. On coffee. That's coffee. Where you can buy us a coffee. To support us. So yes, we... Yeah. Our car hasn't worked for 18 months. It hasn't been used for most probably about 14 months. And required thousands, thousands of pounds worth of repairs. Yeah, it had got to that stage where, anyway, yeah. so we scrapped it yeah, and we um, a man came to... We to, recycled it. Yes, it's gone to the scrapyard to so that recycled. elements of it can be bought by other people to hopefully prolong the life of their car. Yes, which is always a good thing. And what I didn't realise until a neighbour told us was that we could be paid money for that. So, I mean, it wasn't, you know... It wasn't life-changing. No, it was a couple of hundred quid, which was nice. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so the tow truck came. or Not... Is that a tow truck? Do you call that a tow truck? Yeah. Well, it doesn't tow anything, does it? Well, it's, it's got a tow it, line on oh, it. Oh, it's got a tow line on it. That's right. But because the car was in the drive, I did say to them before they arrived, do you want us to push it into the road? Because our road is quite narrow. narrow and also Lots there's cars, cars on both sides, parked on both sides, um, because we're a residential area. Yeah. So I did say, I thought maybe we could do it at the weekend when there are fewer cars about because people are taking their kids, you know, hither and yon. And... Um, but anyway, they said, no, that would be fine. And the guy came, but you couldn't watch it. I couldn't could watch because no. I was actually filled with anxiety. I thought, oh my God, the car's going to roll off the drive. It's going to hit another car. It's all going to be a nightmare. They're going to be completely incompetent because that's my default position yeah. for any workman. Yeah. And the guy was it really is. Sorry, great, but it is. He really was great, good. knew what he was doing, so knew what he was doing. And he did roll it into the, into the road at one point, and you did think it was going to hit the other car, but he, like a superhero, yes. just went mm, and stopped it. I think he just went like this. Amazing. These people, the ones that know what they're doing, are usually very good. He did do something with the back wheels I think did he turn them? to stop them rolling he hit them with something yeah. didn't he I heard him banging at it yeah. I thought my poor car I thought get a grip yeah so I just stood in the other room going la 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 like that was well, that the tune you were doing la 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 and um, I was outside with the guy brave. and um and Very pushing brave. the car and turning well no he did all the wheel turning and, but I mean, you know, he, he did a fantastic job. But when 
when I saw him drive off with our car, I did get a little emotional. We were both rather tearful because there are a lot of memories held in that vehicle. But, you know, those tears only lasted for like two seconds. Oh, they did. Well, yeah, for a few minutes. And few then minutes. and then there was the realisation of, right, we can now get to the side of the house. We can start removing things. I can, st- I can take things easily down to the plot, yes. which I couldn't do before. Yes. We can now use our black waste bin, which was in front of the car that we couldn't really easily use. Yeah, there's so a bit lots more of access. Things, you know. I mean, we have discussed the possibility of perhaps buying a small runaround. Yeah, a cheap runaround. A cheap market. runaround. I do have a little bit of money put aside in my savings. Um, for things like that, but it would have to be very low cost, second hand, quite a few years old, just to do, to have the convenience of it. We worked out hiring the car, we spent quite a lot of money last year. Well, we didn't spend as much money as if we'd bought a car. If we'd have bought a car for the price we were looking at originally, when we did think about buying a car... But we've kind of thought, no, we don't need anything fancy. We just need a little, a little mini, little tiny car to do little journeys to the garden centre. Things like that. You know, that well, the, the other... dump. Go to the dump. Yeah, you can go to the Things dump. Things like that. So um, the other reason is that the zip car that we were using yeah. is now no longer local to us no the closest zip car for us is now about 25 minutes yeah 25 minutes walk Mm. away where it was a five minute walk before yeah um it was also five pounds an hour so with a for a whole day that was that was 50 quid inclusive of tax insurance and all of that that was really really good value the the one that we can use now um is actually from the enterprise car club And it's near Ealing Hospital, which is uh, at least three times as long to walk there. Yeah, but that's okay if you're using it for a full day or something. And hourly, it's also about eight quid an hour rather than five quid an hour. So there is quite a difference, you know, in price if we're going to be using it for, let's say, two whole days a month. There's going to be quite a difference. Yep, 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 yep. So, yes, we're thinking about that. Well, I'm thinking about it because it's my money and I'll do what I want with my money. If I want to buy a little run around, I will, Paul. Are you going to park it in the road? No, I'll park it on my driveway. I think you'll find I that, that's paid for. my driveway. I think you'll find we've shared that cost. I think you'll find it is a shared driveway. Well, and therefore, the driveway. you need my approval to use any of the driveway. I will use half of the driveway, thank you. You can much. use the back half of the driveway. Let's and I'll claim the front half of now. the driveway. So that's it. That's it. So, yeah, no, you were asking me how my week was. I've got loads to talk about. No, you've done loads. that in your vlog. You can watch Paul's vlog on Planet Vegetaria. That's a Facebook group by Rich and Paul. Rich and Paul since 2017. That's contractual. I've had a few earworms in my and head also, this week. And also, what? also, what do I do on a Monday? I I put them all together and I upload them to YouTube. Oh, yes. As a week at the plot. You can watch them here too. Yeah, yeah. I've had earworms this week, have you? I've had weird earworms that have popped up from nowhere. Nowhere. Why does that happen? I think I had one. I think it's like a mental health problem. You said something. You said something. No, I don't think it is. I do. You said something and I said that's really bizarre because... I've been thinking of that song since I woke up. Well, the things I've had on my brain this week, I've had the Pink Panther theme tune. And you don't even like the films. Oh, I don't... No, I can't bear Peter Sellers. He he just never made me laugh. The cartoons. The cartoons. (laughs) Of course. Peter... I don't know... I never got Peter Sellers. I never believed him as an actor. Right. Never believed him. What about that one in Being There or whatever, the, where he's the gardener? Whatever oh, it's I've called. Seen that. Um, the other one that's been on my mind as well 
is the theme tune to Wait Till Your Father Gets Home. And the groovy way they get out loud. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Copyright, 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 copyright. Won't be copyright. Of course it's copywritten. Really? Absolutely. Anyway, that's in your head now. Yeah. yeah, that's been on my brain going round and round and round whilst I've been cutting the grapevine. How funny. <laughs> yeah, no, no, da, 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 da. Anyway, uh, yeah. They do have a new thing on YouTube. When you upload a video now, it does they actually check. do check as, as oh, it's God, uploading. Yeah. <gasps> I hope I've not done too many notes of that. And anyway, let's move on and say goodbye now. Because we're saying goodbye. Because <laughs> he's getting scared that he's done something wrong. Oh dear. Honestly, anyway, disaster. Thank you. Bloody disaster. thank you for watching. I haven't watching. finished the rest of my week. We're yet. also on Instagram. You can watch Paul if you want to on Planet Vegetaria. And, and I um, do upload to Richard and Paul as well. Yeah, so you so can see that. How was your week? It was good. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. So okay. that's it. We're going now. We're going now because we've done too much. Right. We're going. Could you do the Tabitha thing? Tabitha? Yeah. And you go. No. They wiggled their nose. Oh, did they? What Tabitha. Was the, what was the one? That... Tabitha was the daughter. Oh. Sam. Samantha was the Samantha. mother. Samantha. What was it called? Bewitched. Bewitched. That's it. We saw a bit of Bewitched. You were watching some. She doesn't really twitch her nose. She moves her mouth. Does she? Anyway, that's it. I wish I could do that. <laughs> I wish I could. Yeah, it was Darren and Samantha and the daughter Tabitha. And the guy with the blonde hair, the older guy with the blonde hair. He was in a lot Yeah, he of was Darren's boss. That's right, yeah. Yeah, and then you had uh, Endora, the mother. The mother, uh, yeah. Selena, the cousin. Or is it Serena? I can't remember. Selena or Serena. Selena's the in cousin thingy. that was played by Elizabeth Montgomery, but in a different wig. In a dark wig. Really? Yeah. I didn't know Do that. I don't remember her. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Thank you, bloody thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Say goodbye. That's it. Bye. That's it. Aren't we going to carry on talking? No. No? No. And I'm not talking to you ever again. <laughs> Bye. Bye.